Well, this is afternoon. It's afternoon now. Sorry, y'all. I think it's afternoon. Yeah, it's like 12. All right, so it's Sunday, June 21st, and I am about to get ready. I really wanted to do this um, vlog. I want to start a vlog with y'all, just basically showing y'all like my daily life and what I do and you know like what goes on in my life i feel like you know i have been getting so much love and support from you all on youtube that a lot of y'all really don't know much about me and like who i am and you know what is my goal with this youtube thing so i kind of wanted to just go ahead and like just start vlogging for you all so i'll be vlog vlogging from my phone i was thinking about getting a camera but honestly i don't think that it's even necessary for me to get an additional camera for like vlogging because I feel like our phone is just such a, a big powerhouse itself, especially if you have an iPhone, so it's no point. But yeah, so um, I have been going to all weekend, y'all. So my face, my eyes is like so over it. And like, I've been washing my face to the max. I don't think y'all understand. Your girl was like struggling. I've been struggling. But this is the last event of the weekend. Um, my cousin and her friends came to town, so we've been hanging out, but yeah, like it's a pool party. I'm about to make sure this face is beat the F down because my face ain't going nowhere. If there's one thing that I'm known for is having a beat face. Okay. And whenever I go to a pool party or an occasion where it's high or it's going to be like, you know, some type of precipitation going on, my face don't go nowhere. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. But, uh, yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and just start doing my face. And then y'all can kind of like just get to know me a bit more and watch me throughout the day. I probably am going to vlog at the pool party. I don't know yet. Depends if I'm not um, under the influence of some liquid um, drinks. <clears throat> You know, these liquid, drink, liquid drinks that um, put me under a certain particular influence. Um, but a feel-good influence may or may not um, cause me to have the ability to be able to record this vlog, the rest of this vlog. But we're not going to worry about that right now. But yeah, let me go ahead and start doing my face. And then I will go ahead and... Um, Get ready and show y'all like what I'm gonna wear to my what I'm gonna wear to the pool party and everything. But alright, you guys. Alright, you guys. So my makeup is not done. It's just a light you use. Um, I typically don't want to do too much when I'm going to pool parties and stuff like that because you know my face don't wrap up. But honey, like I said, my face don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. But it's a possibility it might. But I highly doubt. If you watch my Shein um, video on YouTube, my try on haul, I'm going to probably wear the neon one. I think it's so cute. So I'm probably going to put this on today and like pair it with like my black uh, uh, cover up. All right, you guys. So um, I finally made it to my destination. Um, all right. Wait, I'm so lost on what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. Let me rewind. So I just made it here to um, my location. I'm going to a pool party, like I said, and I'm waiting on my cousin and her friends to come so we can all get ready to walk in. So I did tell you I was wearing the the um, the neon pink and green swimsuit. I have it on right now. I just have on some shorts with it. So I'm gonna. Uh, definitely be trying to vlog a little bit during this pool party just so you all can like see my makeup is very minimal and my eyes are what the hell hold on I think I know. this shit is what caused my contact dermatitis never buy from victoria's secret or pink never buy their body sprays or their body products because you will be uh, oh shit i got it oh shit is it dead? Oh shit. Oh my god, I didn't mean to kill it. Well, oh well. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna be going ahead and getting ready to, um, walk for that. 
hopefully this vlog comes together you guys because i'm gonna tell you like when i don't really like vlogging because i'll be all over the place i get easily distracted i literally am like the worst person when it comes to having conversations as far as trying to stay on topic because i will get sidetracked so that's why i never really vlog but we're going to work through this we're going to make it work i'm going to give y'all this content okay all right but other than that you guys i'm going to wait till my friends get here and then i'm gonna um let y'all meet them so y'all can definitely follow them on all their social media but yeah i'll be back so another thing that i really do recommend for if you're ever going out to a like pool party or like you're gonna be outside um for what the fuck is she naked oh wait hold on Oh shit, I'm so sorry y'all. I really thought that girl was naked. It looks like she's naked. Okay, let me get back. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. I don't think I would be able to see though because it's so far away from the camera. But yeah, so like I was saying. Yeah, if you're ever going out to an event where you're gonna be outside for majority of the time of the day and you know, you're you know really big on like you sweat a lot and you're like um you get musty and your deodorant just truly just does not hold one hack i do recommend is that you can get make sure you exfoliate your armpit first before you do this so when you're ever in the shower um you can get an exfoliant if you exfoliate you can get if for guys this is for guys too so guys and girls you should be exfoliating anyways if you're a female or a male doesn't matter but you can exfoliate um, your armpit. You should be exfoliating your armpit though because it helps clear out the um, dirt and oil that's inside of the pores of your armpit. So you exfoliate your armpit, real, real good, clean it off, da da da, go about your day. So when you get out the shower, make sure your armpit is fully dried and everything. And what you can do is you can get aloe vera gel. I recommend you get the ones that's like the store brand um, because um, it kind of lasts longer. You can use the plant, but I personally recommend the store brand. So you get aloe vera gel, 100% aloe vera, nothing else in it, just aloe vera gel. You get a nice little amount and you just put it um, on your armpit and you just let it dry. And once it dries, go ahead and put your deodorant on. And I promise y'all, like your deodorant will last all freaking day day like that thing especially if it's a spray deodorant like that thing lasts all day i kid you not like the smell is going to be like so strong like your deodorant is going to be so strong you're going to be like i still smell my deodorant like you're going to be like oh you, as soon as you open your armpit it's like a whoosh you can smell it like that's how strong it is and the reason why i found out this hack is because um, I was going like organic, like trying to use organic soap, organic uh, deodorant, organic face wash and all that. And I have very sensitive skin. So majority of the deodorants that I was using was breaking me out really badly um, under my armpits. And I could not, you know, really put anything else on my armpits. So I would just use like aloe vera to like calm it down. And then it started working to calm it down and then I started back using deodorant again and I just would put it on as a barrier when I was using like my regular deodorant and ever since I did that like that thing that was the best combination I ever came up with but yeah y'all definitely should try that heck I promise you you will not be disappointed it does not clog your pores or anything it just serves as a barrier between you and the deodorant and everything like it just is so amazing but y'all should definitely try that the worst thing was it's a, it's my, a video um, my friend's dad. It's for my so vlog, to, like, for, for YouTube. Look at you. My you see was that? You see me? Skin uh, popping, um, you know? Yeah, so it was pretty cheap to come. So I was just like, all right. <laughs> explore the East Coast moment. We have Tisha. And then we have Mari in the back. That's Megan. Yes, y'all see Megan yeah. the Stallion. Let's see his knees. Let's see his knees. Yeah, let's see those knees. <laughs> Hey, yes. Happy birthday.
Do pa kay Jenny. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, you got to do little things in the air. Like, yes. You got to do little things in the air. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Throw some dollars at her. But why? Why after they shake it, time to time they go up and down with this like? Yeah, I don't know. You really could have been a model girl in college. I could have been a girl in college. I was trying to be booed up in college. Booed up, booed up. They like this. This is how model girls come out. They be like, it's so cute and it's pink. And then when it's oh, where does she in the club? Come out, they go up. Mm-hmm. As soon as soon as they like, model girls be like. I'm be a model girl. I'm gonna quit my job on Monday, y'all. That's a fucking lie. Three days later. I had to take a break yesterday, y'all. Like, I was, I was, I, I was fucked up. Like, I was trying so hard to, like, not go to sleep because I was so tired. Like, I, I slept for a little bit, but I really felt like I should have slept more because I think my body is still trying to recover. But to be honest with y'all, like, my whole balance is fucked up because I was drinking, you know, shit. This video, you know, of course, is part of my vlog, but I really did want this portion to be something that I wanted to inform y'all about. So, of course, like I said, you all have been supporting me so much during this time with YouTube. Like, I'm really getting a lot of support, but, you know, I don't want it to, my channel to just be about me trying on swimsuits because swim, me trying on swimsuits and me doing hair reviews and makeup tutorials and giving y'all my crazy ass story times like yes i know my life is interesting but you know i'm just saying like it's more to me than that i feel like my youtube can be more than that but what i'm saying is that you know a lot of people say that you need to have like a niche a theme for your channel Yes, that is my theme, but I feel like you can have more than one theme. I feel like you can try to bring in more than one type of theme to your channel. You know, you can bring in more people who are attracted to those different themes on your channel, which I truly think that is something that could really work if you know what you're doing. Now, me on the other hand, I I personally, I just like to post whatever I feel like I want to post. I know a lot of people are like, oh, YouTube is this. You need to, you need to be like this with YouTube. You need to put like, you know, I personally feel like this is my platform. I should post whatever I want to post, you know, and if they people like it, they like it, you know, but I have been debating about this for the past year or two. And it's basically been about, you know, um, feminine health so but I personally feel like you know women when it comes to our feminine health it's like a very big taboo thing a lot of people don't want to talk about it they're like oh no you shouldn't talk about that and then like men I don't even consider them men if you're a man and you feel like you're offended or you feel stuck away about women on their period or them talking about it and stuff like that like you're you're not a man you're 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 not, you should never call yourself a man you're a little boy it, it's we're grown come on it's it happens okay it's the same thing you love to beg for but you got like it's so taboo when it comes down to real shit about it so don't even call yourself a man if you can't be man and grown enough to talk about woman issues as well as your issues so um like i was saying you know I am very, very big when it comes to my the JJ. Like I am, if I see any the slightest thing that is wrong with my JJ, oh, I'm going to the, my detoxes, my oils, all of that. Like I'm getting on it. And you know, I've helped a lot of my friends who have, you know, had issues down there, and those issues could never be solved from your average medicine that they give you and they're still looking for other answers so since I was about 17 years old when I had my first ever yeast infection y'all like I did not know what it was I was like oh, what is this like I don't know I've never had this I'm not do anything and you know my 
cousin, my older cousin, who's grown, she was just like, you know, you need a douche. I'm like, douche? Like, what is that? I gotta stick that up in there? She was like, yeah, you gotta stick that up in there, you douche it, and then you, you go. So me listening to her, thinking I'm doing something right, no. My JJ was crying, like, it was bad. It was so bad, but I don't even wanna go in that. But ever since then, I started looking, like, up on remedies and, like, I was Googling a lot and, and everything. So, you know, as the years went by, you know, I practiced these methods on myself. They have worked. I went and gave my friend these methods, and it has worked for them tremendously. With I would say that BV, bacterial vaginosis, and, you know, STDs are, like, the biggest thing. So, I've helped with that, and the results have shown, and they have been proven to work. So, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor at all, not a licensed physician, so I am not liable for any of this advice that I'm giving you. You're simply just going to go ahead and you're, you're doing this on your own because whatever. But that is something that I am looking into doing. I'm My friends and my family have told me multiple times, like, you need, you need to be telling these folks about this. Like, you need to be telling them about this so that they can know and, you know, to stop making it such a scary and taboo thing you know it's hard to speak to other you know people about these issues especially if you're younger like you know I, how do you go when you tell your your mom or your parents like oh I don't know what's going on right there I need help and they're like oh I don't know like you know there's like so something crazy then they automatically think oh you're doing something you're the business doing like and that has nothing to do with it so that is something I want to touch on on another day. I don't want to go on too long about it because obviously I've been going on it about it for the past five minutes. Hey okay, y'all, so my cousin, she gave me the birthday hat. I'm pretty sure y'all gonna see that. I got a few videos from that night. She gave me a little birthday hat, like happy birthday. <laughs> this is so cute and I love pink and she got it in pink. Cause I love pink. I like pink and I like purple. So she did a good job. It's like pink and purple. Oh, you guys, I didn't even tell you. Like, yeah, so my, of course my birthday is coming up. And also, um, my birthday is very special to me because me and my great grandmother, who in whom is 95, she uh, has the same, we have the same exact birthday. Chick-fil-a-la, chick-fil-a-la, chick-fil-a-la. Okay, I'm gonna have to get off my phone real quick because I gotta scan my app. Keep going straight. Yeah, we got you. Oh, okay. How you <laughs> oh, great. How are you? Hi, how are you? Oh, can I please have a market salad with grilled chicken? You got the app? Yes, I do. That's a smart lady. Exactly. I need all my points. You want grilled hot or grilled cold? Grilled cold, please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That was kiddo. But yeah, so, you know, one thing about Atlanta, y'all, you know, I'm not really going to talk too much on the topic of racism, but one thing that I will definitely say about Atlanta that is no big secret, white men love black women down here, okay? They, they, they be shooting, they shot, okay? So, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> They will shoot their shot and they will not, they will, look, they'll keep on shooting until they know that for a fact they can't, that they missing, okay? I'm not going to say that racism isn't down here, but I, it is not as prevalent as I, from my experience, it's not as prevalent in our, down here than, than it is in other places. And, well, there are, of course, racist parts of Georgia. That's no secret, but in Atlanta, you know, we have so many different cultures and races and um like religions like it's just people from all over that are like down here we just are more accepting of a lot of different things than other people and that being said like we all kind of like know oh mm. Mm, mm, what if that is hot? Mm. But I'm not gonna say that it does not exist because it does. 
it's not completely eradicated here you may still experience some people but from my experience i have yet to have experienced that type of um experience racism and i don't like i said i really do believe it's because of this huge melting pot here in atlanta it's like so many different races so many different cultures you know it's like something that doesn't happen too often I need to just take a break and eat my fries real quick. Mm. Mm-mm. 